Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my source, to my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. What? Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that. Here, this is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. We're talking about one of my favorite picks in this year's MLB Amateur Draft, and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the on the mental side of the game. And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing routines, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining motivation, visualization, the sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. Hello and welcome to Wagon Man Stadium. Opening day 2022 on MLB The Show. It's the Midland Rockhounds and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And today's starting pitcher, Josh Green. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. So one out, nobody on. And now the center fielder, number one. Batting nine, the center fielder, number one. Let's go, kid. One time right here. Next pitch has popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little now bit and popped it up. Number four. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Robert Poisson. Robert Poisson. And that one lifted in the air center field. Number one going back on this one. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Round second digging for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. 
Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Now You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Oh. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Here's Ramon Laureano. The pitch. That's towards center. Number one under it. He's got it. Runner tags for home. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they trail by one. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. So up next, number one. Now batting. Number one. Come on. Let it fly right here. See it? Drive it. Let's go. Right here. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Tied at four. Hit on the ground might be two. Gellar to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six at the play. Number four. Number four. Now that's smacked to right center. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. The left fielder, number five, Tyler Ramirez. One down. Tyler Ramirez, the next to hit. Come on, guys. Hey, we got one here. We got one. And here it comes. In the air, out towards left center. Two down. Now batter, second baseman, Christian Lowe. And the batter now, number one. Now batting, number one. Back up the middle in a base hit. And he might want to keep that ball for a souvenir. It's his first base hit here in double A. For sure, and if he can pick up a bunch more of those, he'll hopefully keep moving up the ranks towards reaching the big leagues. That's the ultimate goal for him at this early point in his career. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, number four. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. At the belt and fire. In the air, left field. Ramirez makes the catch. Out number two. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. So bottom of the ninth, here's the center fielder, number one. Leading off, the center fielder, number one. And the right hater back to work. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Foul ball there. In the air, out towards right center. Number four, on a dead sprint, racing back. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Number four.
And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Six runs on 12 hits. One error, they left 15 men on base. For the Rockets, four runs on nine hits. One error, they left 17 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 11 minutes. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Midland Rockhounds and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And today's starter, Slade Ciccone four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes righty delivers out to center. Can't get their base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Poisson around third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Back here at the ballpark, and now Tyler Soderstrom. Leading off for Midland, the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. In the air, center field, number one under this one. Makes the catch. One up, one down. That except the right fielder. Number four. One out, base is empty. Out, now it's the right fielder, number four. And the righty deals. Into center. Number one settles under this one. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You know? Runner on at first with one gone. And now the center fielder, number one. The center fielder, number one. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other yeah, way. Yeah. But that time, a little anxious. And now the shortstop, Robert Poisson. Here, now batting, shortstop, Robert Poisson. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And yeah, there's two away. Now batting, the center fielder, Ramon Loriano. And now here is number one. Now batting, number one. Yeah, let's go, big fella. 
In the air, left field, Ramirez raging back towards the wall. And there's two away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, yeah just one free pass. and uh... Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Zach Gellar. For Midland, the third baseman, Zach. The 3-1. In the air, out to center. And there's one away. Now it's the shortstop, Robert Poisson. One down, base is empty. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Ramon Loriano. Here's the center fielder, number one. The batter, number one. Oh, there he like a big dog, right there. And first offering is fouled off. Chatham at second with two down. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Going two now. Bounce to third. Whips it across. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. We're through six full. We are tied 2-2. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Tyler Ramirez. Leading off for Midway. The left fielder, number five. The 01. Tyler Ramirez. And that one in the air center field. And a quick out number one. Now batting, the second baseman, Christian Lowe's. And here's the first baseman, number 76. The batter, the first baseman, Dermis Garcia. 3-2 now. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. And it bangs off the wall. Safe at third on a one-out triple, and the go-ahead run is on the doorstep. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent. Bottom nine. Now it's going to be number one. The center fielder, number one. Long, back to work. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Three, two, the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left 16 men on base. For the Rockhawks, 
two runs on four hits, two errors. They left 12 men on base. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Midland Rockhounds and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and today's starting pitcher, Luis Frias. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. The center fielder, number one. Little chopper rolls foul. And the right-hander deals. Nope. And that one missing low. Come on, big guy. Hey, now. Fairchild stands at first with one out. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two gone. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just now couldn't bad. hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard. Yeah, the batter now, number one. Now batter, number one. This one high in the air to left center. Lays out and makes the play. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. Digging in, number one. See it? Right, let's go, kid. Now batting, number one. Hey, get your pitch right here. Come on now. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. No doubt, swinging for a four-run homer right there. Two outs, bases are full. Next offering is fouled back. Deal two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. And now Zach Geloff, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Third baseman, Zach Geloff. That's out to center field. Number one, sizing this one up, grabs it on the run. Two away down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Man at first with one gone, stepping in, number one. Now batting, number one. That's hard hit on the line. Can't get there, base hit. And he's got a double. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Number four will hit next. Here's a one-two. Swings and misses, and there's two down. 
Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Here's a speed threat, Nick Heath. Swing and a ball popped up. Base hit, one run is in. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, these guys are being real aggressive to put some runs on the board, get two guys now in the scoring position. Excellent job of stealing second base and staying out of a potential double play. Now, that can kind of backfire and kill your rally, but it worked out nicely. Now a chance to do some damage. One, two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Next to hit, Zach Geloff. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. The bat, number three, shortstop. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 76. This one in the air center field, number one, moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that is the third out of the inning. Nice sweep in this series, and you continue playing at home. Everything feels good right now. This is the type of run that you can put together a nice, long winning streak. We'll see if they're able to do it in the next game. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team, eight runs on 15 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. For the Rockets, one run on three hits, one error, they left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
A double-A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team.